In the heart of the Canadian wilds, amidst the towering pines and the whispering winds of the north, there walked a woman as formidable as the land itself. Her name was Harriet, and she was not merely a resident of these parts, but a force, a whisper in the folklore, a legend burgeoning in its infancy. Her craft was her body, a canvas of endurance and strength, a testament to the sculpting power of will against the marble of flesh. Harriet was an athlete, a bodybuilder who wore her discipline as consistently as the jet black attire that clung to her like a second skin. No matter the season, whether the world was cloaked in the white purity of snow or the verdant hues of summer, those who beheld Harriet training in the wilds spoke of the midnight trainer, a specter of power against the serene backdrop of nature. In the icy grasp of winter, under the pale watch of the moon on the snow-laden ground, Harriet's breath would emerge in puffs of ghostly smoke as she lifted weights fashioned from the timber and stone of her environment. The contrast of her dark attire against the snowbanks made her appear as an indomitable shadow, each rep a defiance of the cold's biting caress. With the bloom of spring, as the ice thawed into life-giving water, Harriet's regimen would evolve. The black figure executing precision amidst the burgeoning colors seemed not to fight against the season's soft palette but to lead it into the explosion of life. Where others saw fragility in the blossoming of flowers, Harriet's presence amidst them was a monument to the strength at the core of all beauty. Summer's heat became the crucible that further tempered Harriet's resolve. If forests and flowing rivers bore witness to her relentless pursuit of excellence, the sun glinting off her dark attire as she wove her regimen into the long, golden hours. Even under the wide azure skies, she was the constant in black, a relentless silhouette against shimmering waves of heat. When autumn painted the world with the fiery strokes of its windy hand, Harriet seemed to harness the changing energy. Her training was a rhythmic ode to the falling leaves, and against the backdrop of reds and golds, she moved with purposeful stability. The black clothes that framed her muscular form were like a quiet space among the chorus of color a reminder that true strength lies within, unchanging in a shifting world. This midnight trainer, as she came to be known, was not just an echo in the fitness circles of Canada, she was a living legacy. With each season, her story unfurled another chapter, one of undying dedication, a portrayal of a hero in chiseled from the relentless pursuit of a singular vision to embody the strength that lay hidden within the crucible of self. And as she rose to prominence in the realm of bodybuilding, those who knew her best understood that the black she always wore was more than color it was her armor, her truth, and her commitment, forever woven into the tapestry of the land she so fiercely loved and represented.